Hi all! Let's jump into a quick demo of a new agent in AG2's 0.75 release, Doc Agent. We'll actually be using two of our Doc Agents in a simple swarm. Being savvy investors, we want to understand what AMD and NVIDIA are doing in regards to AI in their latest quarterly financial reports. One Doc Agent will handle AMD financial reports and queries, and another will do the same for NVIDIA. Within each Doc Agent, there's actually another swarm of agents tasked with working out what needs to be done and carrying out data ingestion and querying. We'll run through this in more detail after the demo. We kick off our swarm with instructions on the documents we want ingested and the queries we need answered. Our financial analyst agent is responsible for engaging the doc agents and will do so one by one, ensuring that clear instructions are provided to each. First is the AMD doc agent, who is given three tasks by our financial analyst. Ingest the financial report and answer two queries, which are, what did they do in regards to AI and what were the net revenues for the quarter? The AMD agent kicks off its internal swarm. A task manager agent initiates the tasks and classifies them using a structured output. Ingestions are tackled first and the AMD financial report is converted using the Dockling library into a markdown file before being embedded and put in the vector store. Then the two queries are run, one at a time against the vector store. Finally, the internal summary agent uses the context variables to return a text summary of the actions taken, including what was ingested and each query and respective answer. Control is then returned back to the main swarm, where the financial analyst repeats the process with the NVIDIA agent. The same process happens again, this time inside the NVIDIA doc agent. A document is converted and embedded before the same two queries are carried out. Finally, we return to our main swarm, where the financial analyst agent uses the information provided by both doc agents to give us a view of the financial performance and AI activity of these two tech giants. Before we jump into the code, let's have a quick run through of the doc agent's internal swarm. Inside the doc agent, we have six agents. A triage agent handles the incoming request, passing it to the task manager agent. The task manager initiates a task, breaking it up into ingestions and queries. Ingestions are done by the data ingest agent and the query agent handles queries against the vector store, which is Chroma. Embedding and queries both use OpenAI's GPT-40 model. Using Swarm's controllable handoffs, if there are any ingestions to be done, it will ensure they are done first. Once they are done, if there are any queries to run, it will then transition to the query agent for those. If there's an issue during ingestion or querying, it will transition immediately to the error agent, who will summarize the error and return. Finally, if there are no more ingestions or queries, it will transition to the summary agent, who uses the context variables, which have details of the ingestion and queries, to return those details back as the doc agent's reply. Now let's jump into the notebook. You'll find links to this and other related documentation in the description below. As we've just released this agent, we've marked it as experimental. We've tested it, but would love to get feedback on it and how it works for you. We will also be continuing to develop doc agent, building upon its capabilities and production readiness. To run the doc agent, you need to install AG2 with the RAG Extra. The doc agent supports a number of document formats, including PDF, Office documents, images, and Markdown. You can also query a web page by asking them to ingest a URL. Let's look at the code example. Here are our imports. For our LLM configuration, we'll load it from an OAI config list file, and we'll ensure that the OpenAI API key environment variable is set so that our doc agents can ingest and query the Chroma vector store. Here's the code for the demo we ran through. We start with our two doc agents, one for NVIDIA and one for AMD. We're giving them unique collection names so their embeddings and queries remain separate from each other. Then we create our financial analyst agent. To ensure that they provide clear instructions to each agent, we have a number of instructions in their system message. These include guidance on providing instructions specific to each agent at each turn, so that the doc agents don't pick up instructions not meant for them. Once the analyst agent has seen all ingestions and queries have been carried out, they'll summarize and terminate the swarm. Here we initialize the swarm chat. The starting message includes the documents to load, as well as the queries we want to run. Finally, we are using the swarm manager to handle agent transitions in this high level swarm. We provide guidance in their system message to support the speaking order of the three agents. 
Due to the document conversion time, it may take time for this to run for you. Once the ingestions have been done, you can use the same collection name to run queries against it in future runs. This saves you having to ingest the same documents each time. And that's it for Doc Agent. It's a great starting point to incorporate RAG into your AG2 workflow using a single agent. We're continuing to develop Doc Agent and look forward to seeing you use it out there in the wild. Thanks to the community and contributors that made this release happen.